Well, it's been a rough couple of weeks, so I thought that I would share a couple of videos with you that would unquestionably boost your spirits because that's the effect that these videos had on me. So by now, I feel like most of my audience is probably familiar with Walter Masterson because I've talked about him quite a bit. I've even interviewed him on the show. I'll link to that down below if you want to watch that. But this is a viral TikTok star who blew up by simply trolling right-wingers at right-wing rallies, but he really outdid himself this time, him and his associate. So they decided to um, respond to all of the news about abortion. I mean, it's been on all of our minds. And they decided to troll a very prominent anti-abortion activist. And this activist in question is none other than Justice Clarence Thomas. Now, they did this at his house, and they literally convinced security to let them do this. I can't even say anything else, else about this to preface this video other than enjoy. Hey, we're at the Crossing Rivers uh, Church. Uh, we came out here just to do like a little silent prayer. Is there like a place that we can put up that's not gonna be in anyone's way? It's private property. Well, yeah, of course we understand that. It's just gonna be, I mean, we could stay in the car if, if need be. This is, pri this is our private property. Yeah, well, so. I mean, you're right to privacy. I mean, like, yeah, we, we like respect that. his yeah. right to privacy. Yeah, yeah of course. Thank, thank you for seconds. your service. Yes, thank you for your service, by the way. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I, like I, ha I have a tab I'm ready to go. Thank oh, wow. you, thank you. We're just here to say a little prayer for the justice yeah. here with the Cross uh, River Church. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Right. He didn't mind. Yeah, he didn't mind. Lord Jesus, <laughs> protect this man and his decision and his right to privacy. And may his right to privacy never be infringed. So say it, the Lord. So say it, the Lord. So say it, the, the Lord. Amen. 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 Yeah. Repeal this ro this Roe versus Wade and its evils, and maybe even that Lovin versus Virginia, so you can finally get that divorce. We all know you're scared of your misses, and this is your master plan. Hallelujah. So say it, the Lord. So say it, the Lord. So say it, the Lord. Thank you for your service. Thank you. I would have never got that. It took my black ass to jail for real. Don't get to Connie Barrett's house. I yeah. want to get out and say stuff like that. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he straight let us go. I've seen the video like four times now. Every time. It is fucking hilarious. And I've got to say, the person speaking in tongues in the background just chef's kiss that was the cherry on top um so the line that was the best throughout all of this is when master sin's associate said repeal this roe v wade and its evils and maybe even that loving versus virginia so you can finally get that divorce we all know you're scared of your missus and this is your master plan and i feel like that's so accurate He's absolutely scared of his wife because somehow he managed to find someone in the country who's crazier than him. And then he decided to marry that person. And there's no doubt Ginny Thomas is insane. And if he would, like people say this is crazy. I believe he's crazy enough to do this. I think that he would vote to overturn Loving v. Virginia. But um, just bravo to Walter Masterson and his crew here. They gave us a little bit of a sneak preview at the end that they would be uh, protesting at Amy Coney Barrett's house. I can't even imagine what they're going to cook up, but I've got one more treat for you. So they attended an anti-abortion rally or a forced birther rally, if you will. And what they were saying, it was evident that these folks were oblivious to it. It was going right over their heads. But uh, I mean, just once again, hysterical. And the grand finale here was just Perfect. Oh my God! Yes, I want to get a picture. Oh my, oh my God! These are like I love them. They're the best fascists you'll ever see. And they're like the best. When does life begin? When does life begins at ejaculation? No, life begins at erection. Life begins at erection. Life begins at erection. So when do we? No, wait here. Tell them when life begins. When do we get right? Life begins. When, when you first right? find a letter from your true love in the sixth grade and you think maybe, maybe she is the one and you may never actually touch this woman but a life has begun in your heart. 
and we have to protect <laughs> that when, life. When does life begin? Going on between your ears life, or? um, when do life begin? When do we get rights? Life, oh, when do, yes. Yeah, when do this, right this man right here, he has right. right. no, he, he he straight white Christian men are the most oppressed people in America. Oh my God, if you see a straight white man, please give them a hug. Please just give them a nice, hearty hug. So when do we get rights? What? When do we get rights? Yes. That is a great question. Yeah, when do straight I mean, white men get rights? <laughs> when do we do it? When does it end? No, 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 oh my God! Press! Oh! Oh my God! Why are you oppressive? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Uh, but um, to answer your question, we get rights. Did you see what Antifa just what did? The foot on the face, followed by the... <laughs> did you see what Antifa did? How can you top that? How do you top that? I feel like there's there's no way you can top that. Also, life begins at erection. Okay, if you think that, you know, aborting a fetus is murder because it's a potential life, then isn't ejaculation murder as well? Isn't that genocide? Because every time you splooge your load into a Kleenex and you, you know, throw that away, that's millions of potential lives. So maybe we should say life begins at ejaculation or erection. Either way, though, uh, the subtle dig at them for being nerd virgins or incels, you could tell they weren't picking up what he was putting down. Uh, so I, I transcribed this because it was so great. Life begins when you first find a letter from your true love in sixth grade and you think maybe, maybe she's the one and you may never actually touch this woman, but a life has begun in your heart. Beautifully, beautifully put. Now, uh, I've got to point out that guy who said, uh, I'm not religious, like he looked at the camera and said, I am not religious. Like he was getting offended that Walter Masterson uh, was saying that he's religious bullshit. Now, I grew up evangelical and they instructed us to tell people that we were not religious because that means something that is different than being a Christian. A lot of people think that there is no distinction, but to Christians, there is a distinction. Somebody who's religious periodically shows up to church, perhaps, you know, on Christmas and Easter Sunday, doesn't really read the Bible, but a Christian, they're someone who's devout. They're a true follower. So, to say that you're religious in their minds is, uh, is wrong. It's technically untrue. You're a Christian, really. And I mean, come on. If you're not religious and you're siding with these forced birthers, mm, I just, I, I don't believe it. Press X to doubt. So look, let me just say, let me make my pitch for Walter Masterson one more time. If you are not subscribed to him on YouTube, you are missing out. You're going to see his TikTok videos if you have a TikTok account, but his YouTube channel, he just started this, I think, like last year, and he posts more long form content on there and everything is hilarious. It's a gem. So absolutely do yourself a favor, subscribe, tell him that the human support has sent you. And uh, while you're at it, be sure to check out the interview that I did with him. He kind of like talked about his uh, his methods, the behind the scenes, it was really great. I mean, Walter Masterson is an incredibly nice guy. His associate too. After that interview, we talked him and uh, and his associate and I for like an extra hour, hour and a half, like just hilarious, nice person, uh, making us all feel better about the dystopian hellscape that we're living in by just making fools of the people who are putting us through all of this. I, I love it. I can't get enough of it, and I hope that you enjoy these videos as much as I did. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait,